My name is Sandro. I'm a photographer here in Chicago. I'm a director, photographer, artist, a lot of commercial work, a lot of big advertising campaigns. Uh, I'm an image maker. I'm a visionary and I'm an image maker. 2011, Khan honored me with the uh, Saatchi Saatchi Best New Director Award for a short film I did with John Malkovich. 2014, 2015, um, I was the IPA Lucy Award International Photographer of the Year Award, which I, I th believe in our business is like the Academy Award. It's, it's the big one, one of the big ones to get. Um, you know, but awards are, are awards. You know, the, you, you can't live um, on the awards you get because, uh, you know, after you win these awards, it's not like you have clients lined up outside your door waiting to work with you. I mean, you still have to work very, very, very hard. They're really nice accomplishments in life, but they shouldn't define who you are and what you've done um, you know, with your career. And uh, they're just small milestones, I believe, and I don't think we should live for our awards. So many of us don't know what war looks like because we haven't experienced war. But through photography, we get to learn what war must feel like, or the epidemic of AIDS or famine. I mean, most of us don't go through those very difficult, difficult times, but through a photograph, we could uh, actually understand what somebody dying of AIDS is going through. We feel empathy, we feel a lot of different emotions. So to me, I think people love to be educated and photography is, is a great, great, great educator. My latest project that I'm really excited about is uh, this work I'm doing in Papua New Guinea. Um, you know, I've always been curious about the indigenous tribes of Papua New Guinea. And uh, last year I had a, a big exhibition in Australia. Uh, I ran into a, a gentleman there who had been to Papua New Guinea quite a few times. And we got to talking and uh, he basically uh, inspired me that this was the time to go to Papua New Guinea. And, uh, so we're off there shooting these wonderful indigenous tribes and I want to shoot them before you know Western civilization takes over completely over in Papua New Guinea you know these are tribes that have uh, been around for thousands of years many of them still um, you know within their huts are either in grass skirts or naked or uh, just wearing gourds I mean this is something so different than what we have here in the Western civilization and I really wanted to experience this for myself. I've seen some great films um, of Papua New Guinea, and I feel like it's a dying, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a dying population, and something that probably in years to come will no longer be here. And I want to record it. I want to, I want to experience it, and I want to record it myself. Believe in your idea, and to succeed with your idea, that it's going to take more than what you initially probably thought it was going to do. You're not going to go out and do this project in just a couple of days. If you really want to nail the project and make it historic, you got to give and you got to go and you got to do it again and again and again. It's the mind, it's your eye, it's your heart, it's your soul, it's your passion, your idea. You know, there's so much more involved than the equipment that you use to making a great, 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 great picture. <laughs>